actually I wanted to take this opportunity to thank you people what you are doing and what it means to me and what it meant to me when I was in detention. It's about getting peace of mind, getting away from the horrors of wars and the, and the hell of, of the environment of living there. It meant a lot. It kept me going. It made me strong. And you guys changed me. I'm a different person because of you guys. I'd like to tell you there's no scary planned Muslim invasion of Australia. Forget about it. We're not interested. Abdul Rahman, the king, began the genocide of Hazaras all over Afghanistan. This is a strong evidence that war crimes happen in Sri Lanka. Genocide happened in Sri Lanka. Australian government never says that, they don't recognize that. But genocide did happen. Last year we got we had 28 Palestinians disappear in the sea. We found no we found no trace of them. But what matters is that we keep um, coming out, that we keep taking the time um, to stand in solidarity with refugees, to, to get out on the street uh, and make our um, voices heard. Refugees are welcome here. Say hi, say clear. Refugees are welcome here. continue to stand up until these horrific camps are closed down. We at Refugee Rights Action Network really do believe that we need to provide safe pathways for all the asylum seekers. And people who come here on boats are treated like people. We can change the world with empathy and you got that. <laughs>